our values and even discussions like this about how our multi-stakeholder process should be and whether or not the Commission should intervene or whether or not the Parliament should even address these issues or what roles companies have are a symptom or an expression of democracy. It's possible because we can speak freely. It's possible because we believe in multi-stakeholder uh, processes. We should pr be aware, I think, of the geopolitical context. And um, one approach could be to only act when we're prompted to. But that also means that we leave quite a big field wide open to challenge or even attack, if you want to call it that. What we're trying to achieve here is dialogue. I want to stress this and I want to be crystal clear on this. We do not support uh, the creation of new uh, international uh, organization structures uh, for the governance of the internet. We do believe that we need to have a better understanding of who does what on the international stage and we might identify that there are certain organizations which deal with the global governance of the internet that might perform better. The first kind of question that you need to come to is why is the way the internet is governed at a global level important from a user perspective? For most users at present, the main direct threats that they have to human rights and to their free flow of information don't come from the global level. They come from either from national governments who take legal and, well, national and regional governments who take legal and technical measures either alone or together, and also from the large and in many ways unaccountable power of, of the main internet companies. Anybody who's been paying attention to the sort of uh, online discussions around this will know that in uh, recent uh, weeks there's been an enormous amount of energy uh, expended in the blogosphere and elsewhere around the notion of the wicket and whether or not the wicket negotiations uh, were essentially going to lead to the quote UN taking over the internet and so on. And there's been a lot of discussion and uh, pontificating not all of which has been terribly well directed or informed, uh, and some of which seems to really be driven by various political agendas and so on. In terms of process, we are a strong believer in multi-stakeholderism. Uh, I don't need to mention uh, things that were, were already said, the power of uh, a multi-stakeholder platform for discussion around internet governance is uh, per se a value. It allows uh, to have also things to, to think about solution and proposal uh, coming out of the box, out of the, the, the classical uh, agenda, governmental agenda, and uh, it also mirror the complexity of, of the internet. The world's leading democracy, a democracy with a strong constitution, a democracy support that supports the rule of law, proposed as. It proposed granting private companies open-ended powers to annihilate online resources around the world if they reasonably believed that the foreign company was breaching US law. And they did this in the knowledge that, according to, to Google in 2009, 37% of complaints under the DM, US DMCA were motivated by anti-competitive -com uh, motivations.